Good morning. Day three of Night in the Woods. Wonder what's gonna happen today. I gotta say, May, this whole game has given me all the, you know, high school feels. <laughs> and not necessarily in a good way. <laughs> but I'm very I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen. Let's see what May is up what she and her friends are gonna get up to today. Hey, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Oh, that she's the furnace lady. Apparently, she's upset that we messed up her basement. Whatever. She didn't pay us to clean it up. I'm at work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I'm here to be helloed at. <laughs> hey, boyo. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. Okay. I guess May's gonna make the rounds. Do you think Dad cleaned out that storage unit yet? He hasn't. <laughs> I mean, I mean the uh, crawl space. wonder how old this thing is. I think she ought to stop and say hi to the bird on her way by. <laughs> Let's see what Mama has to say. Yawn. Morning. Long night. Yeah. I went to work with B. Oh, are you going to work there? No, Mom. I was just tagging along. Though, I was, like, really useful. Mrs. Miranda might beg to differ. Hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah. Just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> what? Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm going to head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Hey, Mom's a little down today, isn't she? She's usually pretty perky. I don't know if we're ever going to get to go any farther this way, but, you know, it's worth trying. <laughs> ah, look at their jack-o'-lantern. Ah, these people did that throwing up jack-o'-lantern thing. They're definitely adding more jack-o'-lanterns to the street as, as uh, time goes by here. First, I thought I just was not observant, but they're definitely new ones. Hey, Summers. Totally, what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself? What's our other choice? Oh, <laughs> we'll go with this one. Um, I was gonna say, those fruit snack thingies we used to eat in grade school. Oh, right, yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Nope. Absolutely not. Want to hear a poem? You bet. We always want to hear a poem. Especially Selmer's poems. Sometimes I like fruit snacks. Out by the train tracks. Oh, that one's pretty good. <laughs> Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter... The juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and the blue clear squeezer. Thanks. I think Mr. Chazikov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from my back window. 
I seen a fire up by there the other night. I wonder who was up there. Hmm. You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. Oh gosh. You know, we haven't seen Cole again. I wonder if he went back to school. Look, we got some plants growing up back there behind the fence. Look at all the leaves. It's really getting fall like. All the little kids run by. Hey, look at this gal up here on this stoop. Hey. Hey. Oh, she's got nothing to say. Let's see what's hopping down in the. In, I was gonna say down in the sewer. <laughs> down, I guess this is a, like a water taxi. All right, we got some tunnel fish fishing. Wife long gone, kids don't care. Tunnel fish are always there. Ha ha! Yeah, man. Oh God, please don't listen. <laughs> Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here. But it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. Do you want to talk about Granddad? Oh, yes. Where was I? Troublemakers in my family? Right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together. Or at least brought us together in bits and bobs. The old Smokies. The Grand Bears. The Lodge of Old. The Church and the Union. There'd be dances up at the HB. That's where I met your granddad. Oh, a lifetime ago. What was he like back then? Plain in most respects. Prone to fits of melancholy but funny and wild when on when the occasion called surprising is i guess the word hmm what'd your daddy say about him strict but nice haha -ha. strict is funny why you all right miss rosa oh yes Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel better. Oh, May. Oh, dear May. Okay. I keep hoping they'll have they'll have uh, fixed the mural. Maybe it's not fixable. Maybe they can't afford to get someone to come in and can do some conservation on it. It's a bummer. I wonder if we're going to find out who did that. And I wonder what's going on with the arm. We haven't had an update on the arm in a very long time. Delicious pretzels. <laughs> Just checking. Anything new on the bulletin board? Nope. Oh, landscaping, firewood, Katie Washington never lost a child. Oh well, that's just patronizing. Who would leave this here? What? What did I miss? Can we take anything? Ooh, I don't know if I want to take that. Harvest Fest. <laughs> Not seem to be able to take it away though. More like Possum Springs, more like Awesome Springs. <laughs> well, I can move stuff around, but I don't seem to be able to take it, so. All right. Let's go up to the church, see what's happening. 
Oh, I forgot. I think I forgot to go to the left and check on Bruce last time I was here. Now that I think about it, let's go check on Bruce first. He's the homeless guy that lives in the woods. See how he's doing. Uh-oh. He's not here. There's his house. There he is. Hey, Bruce. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here, weird noises. I just kept to myself, and they went away. That sounds spooky. Been around a lot of places, ain't spooked by much. But out past that water tower, yeah, that's a place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange fire and strange voices... Ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. All right, well, stay safe, Bruce. Keep warm. Excuse me. sure what that's a statue of a bird I think all right let's see what's going on in church yeah we'll go talk to mom first hey mom can't talk today lots to do really what could possibly be going on well, sweetie, we have the town council here today. And after that, a 12-step program meeting in the basement. Oh, wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, hon. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. <laughs> Fake me out, game. Still can't go that way. All right, we'll go in the sanctuary. Boop. Oh, look. This is the town council talking to Pastor Kate. He's very nice. Oh, I bet they're talking about Bruce. Yes, and he can be like the first. A trial run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library? With all the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Kate. Yeah, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us moving forward on this. Forward together on this. It will be brought up at the town council meeting. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, troops, move out. Hello, Pastor Kate. How's things? Okay, weird dreams. Want to talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours, and it was cozy. So I could take a nap, guilt-free. <laughs> you feel guilty about naps? I wish I didn't. How's that whole thing with Bruce going? I'm hopeful and positive. That sounds like what someone says when they're not. Ah, uh -huh. it's fine, May. It's gonna, it's going fine. Sure, Pastor Kate, because... Uh, I mean, maybe Bruce likes living rough. I don't know. Alrighty. Let's 
Get on down the road. Check in on our friends. Ooh, I haven't tried being on the high wire yet. Except we won't know what's going on downstairs if we're doing this. We'll give it a go. And we'll have to come back up the street and talk to people. Oh! <laughs> Hope she's not going to call Aunt Mall Cop. Oh, a dog barking at us. Ah! I fell off. How did that happen? All right, let's go run back this way. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, the call center people weren't outside. That pocket pawn. Nope, we're good. I want to know if that lady got the job. The telecenter lady got the job at the whatever panther. Ham panther. <laughs> hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Eh, I don't know. It pays. I, like, refuse to unload all that rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harvest play tomorrow. Oh, woo! Yeah. I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired because everything about my life is so exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus a store owner, even though I'm one employee and I do not own this store. Oh, weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. You'd think. But also, no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin using materials and tools from this store and bury me anywhere else. <laughs> well, that was a lot. <laughs> Jeez, that got intense. Ah. Uh, anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Not sure, I got a couple other stops to make. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. Let's see what's going on before we decide if we want to hang out with B. We have so many options. Like 10 guys from my high school class went off to the army. That happens in small towns a lot too. Got to afford college some way or another. Or it's just something for them to do. Because they really, college isn't an option for them. Okay, let's see what Angus is up to if he's back. Hey, Angus. Hey, May. Hey, Angus. How's video land? Good, good. Start of the Halloween rush. Got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What, horror movie? Yeah. Scythe Sabbath. Ooh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Guess Angus, I guess we don't hang with Angus. Postables, still sad that Postables is closed. Such a bummer. Hey, dude. Hey, CJ? Yeah? You were like in high school when I was in middle school. Oh, huh. Did I know you? You used to play nerd games with Tom Bram Bramwell across the street from my house. Haha, <laughs> nerd games. That's quite a memory you got there. Did you do you live here anymore? Nah, just back visiting. For nerd games? 
They were like pen and paper role playing stuff. I'm just be talking about Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> cool. But no, I'm just visiting family. Husband's driving down tomorrow. What do you do now? I'm a lawyer. Oh, wow. Can I ask you some law stuff? Well, I'm not acting in a professional capacity, but yeah, sure. What's the best way to get out of jail? Well, it depends on the situation, you see. Like, would you dig through the wall or like attack a guard and take their pants and identity? Or like, I don't know, just cause a riot or something? Huh. What's the best prison gang? Like, if you had to pick. You know, we don't really learn this kind of stuff in law school. But what's the point of like going to college if you don't learn useful shit? Laws are pretty useful. Useful my ass, CJ. Okay, well, sorry. Welcome back. Have a nice visit. Bye. Uh, see ya. <laughs> oh, what's in there? Oh, that's right. I keep doing that every time. That's the other end of the tunnel. All right, barflies. Sunny again. Thank goodness. What's got you down? Oh, it's nothing. Hey, um, ghost smelters, right? Yeah, ghost smelters. Look, he has a, a, um, collar on. Here's the snack falcon. We'll see what Greg's up to. Hey, hey, hey! Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something. Oh, wow. Okay. You drink like all the coffee? I can't have coffee. It makes me anxious. Oh, wow. That sucks. And it tastes gross. Not if it's mostly milk and sugar. Seems like a lot of hassle. To make something gross taste okay. Well, good point. Dude, 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 dude. You want to do something, something, something? Ugh, I can't today, dude. Uh, yeah, man, let's go. Oh, so we're going to hang with Greg instead of B. Wounds. Ooh. Oh, cool. We're cruising now, man. At least we got to get out of town. <laughs> this is like basically a cutscene. I'm not doing this. I'm not controlling this. I'm just watching. Drinking my tea. Nice to have a break. Oh, we didn't. Oh, that's right. We haven't slept. Ugh. I was about to say we didn't have a dream last night, but we didn't actually sleep yet. It, it is a bad night yet. Hey, no, it's like a kit. You can get off the internet. German me put it together. So it's a motorcycle now. No, it's like a motorized bike thing. It's different. Why don't you just get a dirt bike again? I'm an adult now. I ride a bike. <laughs> so like, where are we? The woods. All right. I mean, I could totally tell that. Doom, 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 doom. I was trying to jump up there, too. So I guess we're just going to play. Log bridge to Valhalla. Cross and die, mortal. This log is going to snap, or we're going to break our legs and have to crawl back into town. Or die of, like, bears and cold. Remember when we used to knife fight? Ha, ha, ha. We'd go home with, like, cuts all over our hands. So dumb. 
Well, I... What? I got knives right now, just saying. Holy shit, yeah, you're on. First to wuss out, three times loses. Okay, I'm sorry, this doesn't seem like a smart idea. Come get cut, Gregor. Say goodbye to your fingers. Stab me once, shame on you. Stab me thrice, shame on uh, ice. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First one to wuss out three times. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stop stalling. On guard. Get stabbed. Oh. Oh, ow. Ah. Oh, ow. I guess I'm not good at knife fighting. <laughs> I'm glad to know. <laughs> and I guess May doesn't get to stab. She only guards. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I guess I lose. Ow. Ah! Ha ha ha, eat it! I'm rusty. Unlike you, I'm not street trash. May, you're trash wherever you go. Woo hoo hoo! So that's how it is. I'm gonna stab you repeatedly with this knife. Yeehaw! Or yeah! Okay, okay, okay! Ready, ready, ready! Yeah, 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 yeah! Cool, cool, cool! Go, go, go! <laughs> Wait, how do I stab? Oh! Man, I'm getting all the stabs. Ah, you okay? No pity, Greg. No pity. Geez, I hope we don't have to do this until I win, because clearly that's going to take a while. <laughs> oh, doing it. Oh. oh, I won that time. <sighs> Ugh. Jeez, you okay, dude? No. I'm not okay. We can st No, again. I don't want to play again. Okay, alright. Ready, ready, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, go, go. Oh! Okay, I might be done. That really hurt. Really? No! Let's go! One last time! Prepare to die. Okay, okay, okay. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Go, go, go. Up! Oh, man, what a thing to get better at, right? Uh, alright, I'm actually done. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Do you need me to, like, call your mommy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell her that her precious boy got stabbed in the woods. Yeah, that was always how it was going to end for one of us. Oh, I got a knife fight trophy. Okay, well, that's probably enough stabbing for today. All this blood's going to attract predators. Oh, good point. Okay, that was kind of funny. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Why did you have two knives? Uh, good question. Let's break this log with the knives. No, this is probably going to kill us. Nah, dude. Good point. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, man. We're too old for this stuff. Is I believe the proper words we want to use. I was thinking, yeah, like if you see a rotting tree or a log or something in the woods or like there's ice and a big rock, like you have to kick the tree over or break the ice. Like I can't not do that. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the like feel of it's different. Oh, the feel of it's different now because I was here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. These woods will never be the same, man. I changed them. We changed them. Butterfly effect. Dude, someone's going to die or get born because we broke that log. 
Wow, that's saying a lot. Crap, man. Yeah. Uh. Oh, goodness. Shoop. I was going to say I'm surprised you still have that. Yeah, well, hunting wasn't my thing. But I mean, dude, like, what isn't fun about this thing? Did you ever go? Nah, my dad wasn't into it. Granddad was, but he was definitely, but he definitely saw it as a guy thing. Hmm. I was pretty annoyed by that at the time. Really? Think you would have liked it? Probably, actually. Like, just buck hunting or something. Season starts day after tomorrow. Yeah. Well, anyway, I would have liked to have been asked at least. You want to shoot this guy? So, like, what's going on here? The forest god. Like, in the story? Yeah. Looks like you just stuck a bunch of targets and decoys together. Yeah, but he's kind of cool looking. You work. Bang, bang. With what you got. You want to shoot it, dude? Uh, yeah. You should go stand in front and I'll, like, shoot over your head. Dude. Okay, okay, fine. Give me it. Wow, this is heavier than I expected. So make sure you pull back before you release the trigger. Then I just shoot wherever? Not at me. All right. Uh, it's not firing. Oh, oh, you just have to hold the trigger down for long enough first. Okay, so just hold it down, huh? Uh, bam. Oh, I did shoot. Wrecked. Hunt that beast. <laughs> oh, I can make it go up too. Headshot. Oh, well, antler shot, kind of. Brain shot. I got a brain shot award. Oh, I didn't read because I was trying to shoot. I wonder what it said. So if you hold down the trigger, I got it, man. I got it. I got it. I don't want to shoot the butt. I want to shoot the head, but not the antler. Oh, bang, bang. <laughs> right through the goddamn skull. this dude back in like the 40s and he got shot in the head and it went right through his brain and he was fine somehow that's awesome that'd be a cool scar yeah all right oh another one in the antler wonder if it went through his eye bummer losing an eye cool eye patch though i'm out of bolts man that was fun I can take on like vampires now. You could, you could. Vampires of Possum Springs. They're out there. Shiny teeth, shiny as the night. All right, that was kind of a funny little mini game. Okay, enough shooting for one day. Hey, I'm not going. There I go. <laughs> So, what the hell was that? Yeah, that's been happening lately. What? What happened? What has? Electrical stuff. Hmm. So, I don't want to be nosy, but you seem a little up and down today. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, it's been a thing in general lately, but... 
I'm I'm a good person, right? Sure. I don't know. What's up, man? I try really hard. Angus, like, needs me. He needs a Greg badly. Is Angus in trouble or something? Nah, it's like... He hasn't had the best life. His family is like pure trash. I assumed his family was polite and quiet, like him. Angus is how he is, because he's a super rad person who came out of complete shit. I just don't ever want to lose him. Not ever. I don't know what I'd do. I, I don't want to screw this up. Are you... Uh, are you two doing all right? Yeah, I think. We've had some arguments lately. About what? Uh, stuff. But I'm just parking lot trash. I've known that all along. I've got, like, no future. If it was just me, when I'm awake at night, I listen to Angus snore, and I stare at the ceiling, and I think about how I'm a complete piece of shit. Oh, wow, Greg. And, 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 Greg, Greg, calm down, dude. You're good. And Angus is good. Yeah, Angus is good. Nice, smart, hot, cool dude. Down to chill, etc. Greg, etc. And you know, he's got that ass. Oh my God. Thank you for finally saying it. It's a fantastic ass, right? Fantastic. Good talk. Okay, I'm not comfortable with you objectifying my boyfriend. Only his ass. And who could blame you? I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. Probably worried about nothing. I have really up, up days and really down, down days. And I don't know which it is until it's over sometimes. I kind of coast through on general blah. Oh, on general blah right now. <laughs> oh, that was her saying that. <laughs> what kind of birds are those? I have no idea. Hey, bird! Northern dumbfowl. Eastern skinny bird. <laughs> Did I fly south? Do you want me to make something up? Yeah. Yes. That's good. That's real good. I guess we're just bird watching. Craig's happy, okay. Craig's sad, okay. Thought she'd have band aids on her hands. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How's socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Any idea what was up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. Well, that's vague. Haha, ha, well, I hate to be the one to break it to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Man, too true, right? Aw, oh, dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh, no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So, how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. Garbo and Malloy. What is the name of that show on South Park? And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We'd never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, Malloy? Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. 
Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. <laughs> These days, things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are around the midsection. That's a whopper. Clarence and Philip. That was the South Park show that I was trying to think of. <laughs> this reminds me of that. Malloy, it's, co it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. Ha, ha, ha. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. All right, well, nice talking to you, Dad. I think I'm going to go up to my room. See if I can have another dream. I'll check the crawl space in the morning. I wonder if uh, B emailed us. Oh, they both emailed us. Sweet. Hey, B, you there? Yes, sir. What are you up to? Doing budget stuff for the shop and watching music videos from the 80s? Those are the exact things you'd be doing if you were like 20 years older than you are. Well, someone had to take over for my mom. I'm just being thorough. Well, you're doing a good job. Thanks. Gonna get back to work. Night, night. Hey, kid. Hey, you. Thanks for hanging earlier. No prob, dude. How's your knifed up hand? I'll live. Angus fixed me. Oh, good boyfriend. Yeah, he's a keeper. Sorry I was a bummer there at the end. It's fine, dude. Seriously. I just, yeah. Get some sleep, man. Will do. Night, bra. Let's see if we're going to have another dream. I'm guessing so. I'm guessing this is going to be a regular occurrence until something happens. Ooh, now our dream is windy. I turned the brightness back down on my TV. I, maybe I shouldn't have for this. We'll see. We didn't need it for the first one, so maybe we won't need it for this. Oh, we're at the factory now. Okay, that's as far as we can go that way. What if we're gonna have? Oh, we're on a train. Are we on a train? No, but that's impossible. Well, I guess it's not impossible if it's a dream, huh? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, our li these lights are red lights. Maybe that's not gonna be the little lights. Oh wait, there was something there, wasn't there? see them. Of course, I haven't walked across at the bottom yet, so... Possum Springs, Deep Hollow County. That's as far as I can go that way. Is there a thing right here? I can't tell. Oh, there was. Yeah, I'll definitely have to turn the braid back up again if this doesn't work. I mean, if I can't find my way all the way through. I do think we're on a train, like the whole town is on a train. That's sort of interesting. This is a weird dream. On a train to nowhere, man. No band this time. Oh.
And we haven't seen one other part of the band. Let's see if we can go down. Hmm. Where could the rest of the band be? I don't seem to be able to go any lower. Kind of felt like we had uh, done all the up top things. Maybe there's some more climby uppy bits that I couldn't see in the dark. Oh, here's our little list deal. Okay. So we need to get all four of those lit up by finding the other three band members. Hmm. Well, let's go this way. Is there anything else? Oh, look, we're in the back. We're behind the fence. Oh, I can't. Oh, can I jump off? No, I can't. That's as far as I can go. Uh, all right. Let me brighten up my TV screen so I can see what's happening. Hang on one sec here. I'm learning from these darker games that um, my TV is very dark. All right, let's go again. See what we didn't see on the first trip through. Let's see, there is a line. That way. Oh, I did run that way last time, didn't I? At the end, I think I ran all the direction. I wonder if I can go up this. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. I don't think I went up here before. No, nope, so there's a light. Okay, cool. I like the violin. I think this is the first time I've had the violin on first. There's another guy, because he's not in the band. Okay, here's a guy. Who's this going to be? Sax. Okay, perhaps that wasn't smart. <laughs> Got two going. This doesn't seem like there's really anywhere else much to go except up. I mean, that we didn't go before, which is the rest of it is just seems like it's a straight line. So let's see. This is the end of this. Oh, it looks like we can climb up on that side someplace. Whoops. I didn't actually mean to fall off there, but okay. Let's see. Go back here and see if there's anywhere else we could climb up like that first place. Shoot. So then it must all be reached by that other high that other climbing place. those little things lit. We need two more to wake up out of our dream. I 
feel like I'm probably not seeing something. Okay, this one only goes to there. That one only goes to there, maybe. Just wondering about getting up to that light on the other side. Getting up to that um, neon light. fall off of there, I don't think. Here's that guy again. Up. And our sex dude. Okay. I'm not gonna jump off this time. I didn't see some place I could climb up on the other side. <gasps> oh, look at that. So, where else we can jump up to? They let us jump in these trees. We're missing. And by we, of course, I mean me. Anything we can get to? Uh oh. A little worried about this one. A little worried about this one, you guys. In terms of having to look something up again. How could I miss, have missed two of them? Can't jump off that way. It seems like there's a whole, you know, section I'm missing to have two more band members. Uh, to not be able to find two band members. And that is worrying me a little bit. That one place is the only spot that I've seen that... Uh, try, I'd like to get up there. I kind of feel like it's over there where that light is. Where the sign, the neon light is. here, over this direction, but I don't know. Oh, I could jump. <gasps> well, so, okay, here we go, here we go. Apparently I can't jump on the lights. Okay, good. Get us a little additional action going here. Okay. Oh! Can we get on that other train? No. <laughs> okay, we got this way. I was hoping there was somebody up there. Oh, here's somebody. 
euphonium. So we got three. Where are we gonna find the last guy? Man, I don't wanna jump down. But that seems like that's the end. Okay, we cannot get on the next train. Okay, that's the euphonium guy up there. we missing? We got euphonium, we got violin. Is this the sax guy that we saw already over here? I could never remember who all's in the band. <laughs> Shoot! That was the only other idea I had was that uh, up there by where the neon sign was. That only got us one person. <sighs> morning, Maruski. How are you this morning? We are having one of our little dreams. We're missing one band, dude. His dreams are getting harder. I'm good. I am good. I slept uh, not great, but uh, then my alarm went off. Like, I have it. I normally I wake up before my alarm, but I have it set for 30 minutes before the stream starts just in case. And today, I definitely slept right, whoops, right until it went off. So, <laughs> kind of a sleepy start. Okay, I want to remember who this one is in case I have to look it up. I was sleepy. I think I could have easily gone back to sleep too if I wasn't streaming this morning. Happy having a happy Saturday. I hope you will have a happy Saturday. Hope you got fun things planned today. We got, I'm going to just see which guy I'm missing in case I have to Google it. All right, so we have Sax Guy. Oh, but I can't remember who the fourth guy is. We have Sax Guy, we have Violin, and we have Euphonium. Good morning, Sunny. Okay. It's your puppy and your old dog and your all your other folks settled in for Saturday morning. Oh my goodness, Maruski, that is not a fun Saturday. Those are not fun plans. I need to have those kind of plans, but I, I don't. <laughs> All right, I just don't see how we can have another guy up here. Yes, isn't that the truth? And no matter how many times you do it, it still has to be done again. Sunday is my laundry day. What a domestic crew we are, aren't we? Only a few of us. You mean in your family? <laughs> Okie dokie. All right, man, where's the last one? And basically, who is the last one? Now we've done this, what, like four times already, so you think I could remember. Oh, eh. Sunday's my laundry day. After the, oh no, so I was just gonna say between streams, but yes, I don't stream on Sunday. Sunday's also my day to goof off all day. Oh. When I was working, uh, oh no! That's, I think we gotta go up that way. 
When I was working, I had someone come, which is funny because my house is so tiny. But I just didn't feel like spending my day off cleaning it, so... Uh, but then when I retired, I said, nope. I'm not going to spend that money on that. That is silly. Okay, so now we're on... Where can we go? Oh, no. No. Uh, to be honest here, true confessions. I, pay, I, I literally live in... A, my house is 400 square feet. And uh, I can clean the whole thing in like an hour. But I paid her $20 a week to clean the bathroom. And she was, she didn't come specially for me. She would clean the big house. I just paid her $20 to do my bathroom, which, she, oh, there he is, yay! Uh, which she was happy to do. But even that, I was like, well, that's just silly to spend $20 on a week, which is, you know, $80 a month when I'm retired, when I can easily clean my own bathroom. So it was great to have that done. And then I had my Roomba vacuuming the floor, so I didn't have that much to do, just pick up and dust, you know, whatever. But even that, I thought, eh, I better do it myself. Plus, once I was retired, I was always home when she came over, and I didn't like that too much. <laughs> so she's still in the big house twice a week, but just not here. Okay, what's our scary creature this time? We've had a bear and a squirrel. Oh no! Ah, it's an alligator! Alright, well, I feel pretty good we didn't have to look that one up. And by we, of course, I mean me. Oh, these dreams, man. They are keeping me. And the downstairs, sweep, mop, and clean the bathroom. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. Three hours. Yeah. I mean, if I lived in a regular-sized house, I probably would, would keep her, but would have kept her. Although, on the other hand, you know, I'm like, eh, I'm home all day, so... I don't know. It's hard to know what you would do, right? Oh, that's good. That's a good deal. My um the the uh my people who pay to have the big house clean twice a week, uh they pay quite a bit. Oh, that's not I don't think that is enough, Sonny. Away message, annual har fest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Your people are lucky to have you for that price. Uh, come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Oh, that might be kind of cool. Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. All right, so it's har fest day. I wonder if this is finally going to be our night in the woods. Our titular night in the woods. All right, let's see if Dad cleaned the crawl space out finally. Oh, he did. Look at this situation. Awesome. Blossom. New space in the house. Oh, it's kind of creepy in here. Wait, how does that work out? I thought it was $75, $25 an hour for three hours is $75. So then you give her a 25% bonus every time. Hmm, an old safe. How am I going to open this thing? Well, you're awesome then. Dynamite? No. I think they... Well, I don't know how much they pay the... I know how much they used to pay her, but I think they pay her more now next door. But she does a lot of stuff. She takes the dog to the vet. She's constantly picking up stuff and doing... She'll just basically do anything. Hmm, there's got to be a way to open this safe. Okay, I guess that's all we're going to say right now. So, that's all we got in here? Well, that wasn't too fun. I thought it would be cooler in here. We'll be back. Maybe we're going to ask Dad about the safe. Or Mom. Oh, morning, fam. 
I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller, a regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. <laughs> Screw it, I am sturdy. I'm proud of it. All right, mom was pretty down yesterday. Oh, wow. Man, your cleaning lady's got a heck of a deal, Maruski. <laughs> I think I think they they provide the supplies next door. Actually, actually that is true. That's how they do it next door too. My sister who cleans, my younger sister cleans um one day a week too, like Sunny does, and I think she brings her own stuff. Hey, mom. Hey, mom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what's wrong? Bring their own stuff? Oh, I don't know how that works. Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay. So, what's the story? I just felt like it wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Oh, never mind. Let's talk about this later. No, I want to talk about it now. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we've made as a family. Jeez, Mom, where is this coming from? You know, you are the... The first Borowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got into all kinds of trouble just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Yeah, exactly. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? Ugh, like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. Ooh, what? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Oh, goodness, we wouldn't say that. Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, oh, she's getting mad. Getting out and making something of myself? No. No. You do not get to. Maybe you wanted me to get out of here because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of deep, isn't it? I'm leaving now. Okay. Serious problems going on at the Borowski house? I'm like the kid, not actually adult we are. We just ran off to goof off all day again. I feel like something's coming to a head with this story. Or is going to. Hey, smelters. Smellers. Some name like that. <laughs> I don't know why I can remember the smelter's name of the team and not this person's name. Selmers. Selmers. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. That is too true. I love Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Yes, we always want to hear the poem. Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Oh, cool. I microwaved pizza I'd saved though pizza cold is breakfast gold man too true that is so true it really happened big Halloween fan here yeah me too obviously because I'm a black cat you going to Harfest nah staying here for the trick-or-treaters you are a saint Harvest Harfest is dumb really I love it I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Eh. Uh, all right, well, bite me, sellers, smellers, whatever your sell, selmers. Don't touch my pumpkin. Dude, 
I'm not interested in your pumpkin. Let's just get real here. All right. This girl's gone off this porch. Down in the hole. No tunnel fish guy. No Miss Rosa, but the kids are going to be hanging out down here, I betcha. Not wanting to talk to us. But we're going to force ourselves upon them again. Oh, look at this dude. Where is everybody? <laughs> what? Well, I got a pumpkin on my head. Oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. Murf, 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 murf. Well, you go easy on my street. Murf, 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 murf. Deal. Alright, that's pretty funny. Although, can you imagine what it would feel like to have an actual pumpkin on your head? Especially one that evidence pretzels. We still can't steal a pretzel. Hmm, what's going on with the notice board? Yeah, I mean, gross. I just think it would be cold and... Ugh. I can't even imagine. Harfest. Oh, Harfest goes on for three days. I want to know what happened with the arm. We haven't seen Mall Cop again. All right, let's go talk to Bruce. See if he saw anything else burning in the woods. Hey, Pastor Kate, what are you doing out here? Breathe some fire already, dude. Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I think I'm being stood up. Uh, a date? Not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling, me heading out, and them not showing up. <laughs> you were meeting them at the statue of St. Rubello? Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Who, like, eight people? Well, that's a bit of an oversimplification. But yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of, outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But, can't we learn something from St. Rubello? <laughs> Eat people? Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts Outreach. Well, it's working. How's the situation? The situation? With Bruce and stuff. Oh. Well, we wait and see. And pray. Let's see what Bruce is up to. I guess we'll talk to our mom. I don't know. Maybe she's not talking to us after our fight. You're going to go down to Harfest tonight? I don't know. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. All right. I guess that's all the Bruce chit-chat. Oh, look at these guys. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands. You have journeyed far. And it has brought you here. To us. Actually, I walked up like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home. We will tell of your future. Can't you just hit the clicking? The, the snapping <laughs> but first be truthful tell us which of these have you seen a shipwreck a ghost on a hill an arrow broken broken really I um mm, you're all like 14 year old goths why am I answering this the ghost false you have failed. We cannot help you. 
You may see us once more, but it is not certain. And then, never again. <laughs> okay, uh, have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. Do you, like, practice that talking in turn thing? You're not going to narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here. Nah. Cool, thanks. All right, well, that's pretty funny. Three weird teens I met. I'm glad I came all the way over here. After I talked to Bruce, I didn't think there'd be anything down there. And I'm, one time, I, when I, the first time I came to the church after meeting Bruce, I forgot to come over here and talk to him. I'm kind of wondering what I missed. All right, I guess we'll go try to talk to our mom. Hopefully we're feeling bad, but about, you know, having that big fight with her. But I don't know if we are. We're going to see. I'm busy. I guess mom's still mad at us. Okay. Well then. I mean, I was willing to get over it. Okay, nothing happening in the sanctuary. And we're out of the church. That Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. This is the town council. Thanks, Colleen. That's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. Yeah, I don't either. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. Are we going to have to hit... Wait, what? Tonight. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send you all the lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Ooh, they're getting a little snippy, aren't they? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> all righty, then. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, Mall Cop! We haven't seen her in a while. Hope she's got some news about the arm. Hey, Aunt Mall Cop. Mall Cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No. Tell me now. Once. You kill them? No. So you're saying you don't really need it, then. You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. It would be. I'll look into it. I want to know about the arm. All right, let's see about... Okay, just coffee and smokes. We don't know if that lady got the job at the Ham Panther. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, everything is so great and harfesty. Which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit. Take in the Harfesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Yeah, because we got to make the rounds, man. I guess we can't go in the pickaxe. You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm going to watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. Ooh, that actually sounds really cool. That's that's pretty much what my son does. Not Dracula movies, but horror movies on Halloween. Or really, all of October. It is. Gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. 
Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing then? You're ruining my life. Oh, sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine. Just a thing that happened. Oh, right. The thing. Yep, that's my advice. Try not to have a thing. Okay. Yep. See ya. Later. <laughs> Look, there's a raccoon. <laughs> we need to ask Sunny if she caught her caught her uh, armadillo yet. The party barns out. Okay, who's working? Happy Halloween! Ah, uh -huh. hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. <laughs> Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess that's all we got to say to Angus. I guess, uh, I wonder if we can jump up there. We need to try to run across the top of town. All the way across one time. Oh, we'll get that in a minute. I want to check out the bar flies. You going to Harfest? Nah, gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was gonna watch my... Okay, Mursky! Uh, but I was gonna watch my fave highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? No, nah, never. Come on out to Harfest. You never know. Yeah, all right. Yay, go smelters. Go smelters. All right, let's go down in the tunnel. Whoops. Oh, did we come down from the other side? All right. Cool. I don't think I've ever come down from that side. That's not how I do it. Oh, there's nobody down here, I guess, because it's our fest. All right. That's fine. Oh, just pumpkin head kid. Guess his friends didn't show up. All right, what's going on in the snack falcon? Is Greg's working? Hey man, how's things? Good, Harfest Rush. No one's in here. You missed it, the horror. Oh. I done got horrored! Getting horrored at work is the worst, or when is this place busy? <laughs> Morning is bad. Lunch is kind of bad. After I leave is bad. Christine, the owner, comes in then. I don't think I've ever seen Christine. I try to be out the door before she's clocked in. Nice. Anyway, you're here now, and I'm here now, and it's a lovely day. I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. So, what's up? Hmm, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude! Oh, this looks dangerous. Oops, I missed it. Ha ha. Let's try again. Oh! Jeez, May. I know, I kind of stink at this, don't I? I gotta hit it on the drop. Oh! You should try hitting it with the bat. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I got one! Boom! Ah! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what the F? Oh, I can't run when I'm swinging. She just either stands still or hits. I mean, she either runs or hits. Oh, oh whiff. Mm. I know, I can't. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> I don't know how many of these I'm going to have to do. Oh, God. Okay, I'm done. Seriously, I am done before I lose an eye. All right, well, I was terrible at that. So what's up? Nothing. Well, good talk, man. I guess we got to get ready to go to Harfest, huh? I wonder what our costume's going to be. Or if we still wear a costume. So, how'd that arm get here? Oh, finally we're back to the arm. Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm just falling off or being chopped off, like not by a doctor. Is it still called assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different wor word. Arm choppy. You are under arrest for arm choppy. I wonder if I haven't been coming all this way. I wonder if I've been leaving after I talked to Greg. And if I'd have been coming down here, I would have gotten some arm convo. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. I bet I haven't. Dang, I could have been hearing about the arm all along and I just missed it. Oh, look, we're... All, oh, man, I missed this whole part of town. I feel like I've been missing all kinds of valuable arm conversations. Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Don. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ, you coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little joke. My man, Tapeworm, out in the Bright Harbor. He told me he never got off in this town because of the ghost. Oh, that's a load of crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Ha! <laughs> Damn it, old timer, we're pure as the air. All right, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet ya. Same, little lady. See ya, germ. See ya. <laughs> Man, I've never been this far this way. Have I? I feel like I missed a valuable chatting spot many times. Plus arm combo. I am slightly unhappy about that. All right, well, forevermore we shall walk this direction after we get out of talking to Greg. I guess I just spaced out. I think I'm in coming, thinking the Snack Falcon is the end of town. All right, let's go back home. Get ready for Harfest. <laughs> I didn't think anyone had anything else to say after we talked to him the first time. Bye, Aunt Mall Cop, Town Council. I'm kind of sorry we're on the outs with our mom. That just doesn't feel good. Oh, cool. It's like music of its own, isn't it? <laughs>
Summers. There's all kinds of stuff we can jump on that I haven't jumped on before. <laughs> Oops, there's our house. All right. Let's see if mom or dad is around. Nope. Sweet. I can just get ready for Harfest. Except I want to go in here again. See if anything's changed. I feel like I have to keep checking because why would they do this? Make a big deal out of it if there wasn't something that was going to happen. Hmm. Got to be a way to open this safe. Okay. Not exactly a puzzler where we have to figure that out. All right. Oh, yeah, normal clothes. Yeah, time to get spooky. Ah, <laughs> sweet. Witch dagger. All right, I guess we're ready to go. We're witch dagger. Like on the poster. Nope, nobody sent us an email. We're going to Harfest. Check us out. No sleep. It's Harfest, dude. Okay, let's go. No dad. No mom. Hello? Hmm, they must already be out. Harfest. Halloween, Harfest. For being 20, she really draws like she's a little kid, doesn't she? Oh, it's very cool and spooky. Look, they, they, the bar flies made it. Cool. Dare you spin the wheel of destiny? Oh, you bet. Explain. None can explain the power of the wheel. Save that it is an unknowable circular soothsayer. Oh, snap. Is it going to say the sooth? The sooth? Shall be said. Okay, I'm into this. How do we do it? Oh. A mighty spin, a commendable spin. Your fortune is your future, a place you will soon be forever. Oh, okay, that checks out. Your card says much. You shall live. Oh, good. Until, alas, you die. Oh. Wait. That was going to happen anyway. The cards do not lie. The wheel that chooses the card is unknowable. So, this is unknowable truth. You have learned much, child. I'm 20. Well, that was interesting. May the wheel ever spin in your favor. Alrighty then. Alright, that was fun. What else can we do at Harfest? Oh, wait, here's another entrance. Hold up, baby. Colleen, how do I get into this thing? God damn it. That's oh, a puppet show. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Welcome to the Harfest Spooktacular Water Balloon Toss. You know what to do, or can figure it out pretty quick. Okay, let's go! Finally, here's a mini game I can do. <laughs> if I'm supposed to hit her in the face. I'm a scary spirit! Gonna haunt you for that! Whoops. I'm extremely cold and wet! Ah! 
Oh, here's another one. Oh no, you've hit the evil witch! Ah, uh, which way will I go next? <laughs> Ouch, I'm gonna hex you up! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Oh no, I've melted, I'm running away. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, it's this is like the, these are the town council, I think. Oops, I'm a pumpkin. You hit me, the pumpkin. You got me, the pumpkin's wet. Oh, you got me, the pumpkin, wet. Ouch, that one hurt me, the pumpkin. This guy's a little low key, I think. I'm not doing so good with the pumpkin. Oh, a skelly. I'm trying to improve my technique and it's making me worse. <laughs> oh, look, I didn't even notice that counter up top there. I'm not sure what it's counting, though. Maybe my hits? Boom! Nope, it's not. Oh, I'm not sure it's counting anything. Oops, missed. Oh, I'm terrible with the skelly. I'm definitely getting worse as I go along. Or maybe they're getting faster. Oh no! Oh no! Throw! On behalf of the Possum Springs Town Council, we urge you to support local business and enjoy our historic home, Possum Springs. More L... Kathleen, no! More like Awesome Springs. <laughs> Okay, we're done. Okay, that was pretty funny. I'm liking the little festival. Alright, here's the little kids. Here comes the parade! Woohoo! I have been to many a small town parade. Look, the band! The band from our dream, maybe. I wonder if they're gonna throw candy. Like they do at my small towns parades every parade a fire truck <laughs> tractor with the biggest pumpkin well I'm very much enjoying the parade and here comes the high school marching band woohoo hey everybody hey we gotta have Aunt Mall Cop gotta have a police car in the parade Alright, the parade was awesome. What else can we find? Hey! Oh, how come you're not at the Harfest? What you up to? Seriously? We're putting on this year's Harfest pageant. Oh, right, okay. Live from the old pickaxe. When's this thing supposed to start? Uh, ten minutes, I think? Wait, we're having it. You think? Ugh, this is a nightmare. Why did I ever agree to do this? Chamber of Commerce owes me a, owes me big for this. Jeez, I hear ya. What? Okay, so here's the thing. You won't have many lines. What? I've had like three no-shows. Why? Because this whole thing is stupid and nobody cares about it. B, please... It's, it's a fun part. B. Yeah. I will totally save your ass. I might have this memorized from when I was a kid. Probably not. They rewrote it like six times in the past two years to be spookier. So it's like 20% actual history now and like 80% spooks. So it's like fake history now. It's like the bad remake that doesn't respect the source material. It starts off normal, but gets... Anyway, you got like five minutes to look at your lines. Psh, I can wing it. May, please, please don't wing it. Okay. Oh, so we're going to put on a Harfest, I guess, as a play. I thought it was all that stuff in the street. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there. Be ye ghosts? Are ye here to hear the tale of how Possum Springs came to be? 
Through the mists of time, I see weary fur trappers from 1793. Brother John. Yes, Brother Stephen. From this vantage point, I do spy a deep hollow. And within a great dead tree, and besides within uh, which a spring. Blessed are we, Brother Stephen, for truly my throat is parched from these long and arduous travels and carrying these 300 beaver pelts. Let us make haste, O excellent brother. Hello, travelers. Spare a crust of bread for a needy woman. Ho, travelers. Help an extremely old woman. Uh, please help. Wah! I must have food to restore my youthful form, for once I was a comely lass. We'll go with that one. I, I'm assuming that B is not reciting the lines properly. And so they don't know what to say. Haggard witch! Horrible to look upon. Cruel young men. You did not even offer me one of thy thirty fine beaver pelts to warm my ancient bones. I shall curse ye and thee. And this very night ye shall perish. I am fearful. Steady, Brother Stephen. I did not venture out into these hills to joust words with a hell hag. Ye he he he. I was born among these trees, neath a harvest moon, and ye shall die under that moon. Brother John, I am frightened. Faith, Brother Stephen, art thou so easily shaken by the ramblings of an old crone? Come, help me carry these 300 beaver pelts. But little did anyone know that the witch did not curse in vain. <laughs> help, help. Who will help? A poor traveler. Uh, um, uh, by the moon and stars above us, sir, I beseech thee, what is thy trouble? You're in this? Yep. Ah, witch! Yep. I swear thee, friend, that this very day this horrifying crone did curse my brother and I to die. Zounds! We camp by this very spring beneath the dead tree, and even now his body lieth upon the earth, lifeless as a pile of three hundred beaver pelts. Oh, it chilleth the heart. Hee 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 hee. I did curse this spring, that any man who drinketh from it shall perish. <laughs> ah, I am slain. I join thee now, Brother Stephen. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I am also undone, for I have dranketh of the water. Don't leave me here, Greg. Bye! <laughs> and yet, even there, the curse's lust for blood would not be sated. <laughs> I guess that was the end of Act 2. Now we're on Act 3. Wait, they're back alive. How'd that happen? Gaze upon them. Gaze upon these spirits. Oh, they're ghosts. Brother, we are now ghosts. Ah, I am tormented by the accusing glare of 300 ghostly beavers. It would seem that all who die here are cursed to never leave. Doth that witch know what she hath done? Um, uh, crap. For, for what is a ghost? For each man is determined on his path, and each path leads only to his end. Okay? And yet, each path may lead to places unknown. Hey, you! From the bus station, young witch! It is I, the god of the forest. Uh, just didn't expect you to 
Ain't that the way? So, which thou hast tarried too long in this world, I banish thee to wander in the night through the stranger places. I, what? Young witch, let me speak wisdom to you. We begin and we end at night in the woods, but that is not the whole of the story. This is your line. For as God, thou hast no power here. Even now thy end beginneth. Ack, my infernal powers. Shh, young witch, even now, the world you know endeth, and who can say what lieth in the world to come? Wow. Beware as you go, for there are ghosts. Ooh, ooh. Take care. Wow, she kind of became the star of the show, didn't she? And so was founded then this festival. On Halloween, we shall celebrate the dying of the year and the founding of Possum Springs. I, Mayor Ghost, decree it. The beaver population suffered a decline, and now our biggest exports are corn and pumpkins. We used to be the county seat. Now leave before I curse you all. Oh, no, audience, and that's our show. Be careful as you leave here, for who knows what may lurk in the darkness. Also, be sure to pick up a flyer on your way out from the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Support your spooky local business. <laughs> okay, in my small town, I did a quite a fair amount of community theater, and we were not that bad. Just saying. Geez, thanks, guys. I am never doing that again. So what are we doing now? Well, I'm going home. <laughs> Thank you very much. Angus is making dinner, and we're going to watch horror movies. Can I come? It's more a date thing. Oh. What are you doing, B? Chamber of Commerce folks are going to the buffet out by Ham Panther. Kind of have to go. It's business stuff. I hate this, but you're good at it. Both of those things can be true. Can I come? Nope. All right, well, good night. Night. Aw. Yeah, this is what happens when you come home like this. Everyone's got their own stuff to do. This is garbage. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh no! What the? Oh my god! Hey, anyone! Anyone! Shit! Oh no! Wow, what did we just see? What just happened? Okay, so we're gonna chase after him instead of going to call Mall Cop? Pant, pant! Where the hell did he go? Shit! Things are getting a little spooky. Ah, kidnapping. I thought it might have been a murder, I have to say. Oh, here comes small cop. May, go home. There's a guy up there on the hill. He stole some kid. He looked like a ghost. A ghost, huh? Or something like that. May, you shouldn't be out here doing whatever it is you're doing. Yeah. No, no one should be out here, but there's this guy. I'll drive you home, May. No! May, now! Yeah, I think it was a murder. Uh-oh, why is May in the woods? Oh, is she having a dream? What's happening? Are we finally going to have our night in the woods? <laughs> All right, we can only walk, we can't jump. Man, that was that was an unexpected turn to our story, I must say. Of course, we did have that whole arm situation. OK, 
Okay, right now my controller's vibrating like crazy. Guess that was a cutscene, sort of. It's spooky on Harvest Fest night. Har Fest night. It's kind of hard to say. All right. Uh, what? Trophy earned? Yeah, exactly. Okay, part three, the long fall. Wow. All right, you guys, I'm going to take a 30-second uh, bathroom break. I'm going to see where this story goes. I'll be right back. Okay, things have taken quite a turn. We were supposed to think that was a dream or... Yeah, I'm just curious. Very curious about what happens next. Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. <clears throat> Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey, dude. Sorry I couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry, too. Band practice today, yeah, uh, because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work. Bye. Oh, no. We're going to have to play the guitar again. Oh, say hi to the tiny fam. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Weird to take like one moment and make it like the official version of us. Well, that's fairly profound, isn't it? Oh, I just came back too. <laughs> Welcome back, Sonny. <laughs> I won. Well, you missed a lot, Sonny. We might have seen a murder last night at Harfest. So things have gotten a little different. I wonder if the new working if the new working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big old thing upstairs. Like you, but different, huge, and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Aw, oh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. Oh, <laughs> we need more of those. Yeah, we're very curious what's going to happen now. I'm sorry I keep coming in here, but I just feel like something must be going to happen in here. Because otherwise, why have this whole bit about the crawl space? Maybe just to see how many times the player will come in here for no apparent reason. <laughs> All right. Let's go see. We're still mad at mom. Our mom's still mad at us. Hey, hon. Yeah. Come say hello, why don't you? Hey, hon. Hey, mom. You look really tired. So do you. And also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. Wow, Mom. Harsh. 
I could go for that today. I guess we're still not exactly talking. Hey, hon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. I'm really sorry, Mom, about all of it. Hey, May, you okay? I'm fine. Guess I'm stressed, too. Saw some weird stuff last night, or I think I did. Want to talk about it? Later. I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. I want to know that part, too. I guess we're never going to have anyone to the right again. Only to the left. Look how the, the, the picture is very uh, pastel-y today and not as bright as it has been in the past. How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. I went to Harfest, saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. It's kind of cool. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. Now that sounds like my kind of Halloween. Halloween episodes were on. Yeah, exactly. Well, I was living, I was out living a Halloween episode. Whoa, yep. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. Autumn winds, autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank? Uh-oh. In November. Oh, right. Yeah, that's uh, inconsiderate. Hey, Mr. Chazikoff. Yes, Selma? You're going to break your neck someday. I'll make sure to fall right on you. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm a big enough target. Ha ha ha. I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. Okay. The missus varnished this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. Okay, so as Maruski noticed, Harfest is done. All the decorations. Look, the pumpkin. Oh, look at that. The pumpkins are all gross and rotty like they get after a while if you don't bring them in. That's pretty funny. Yep, got lots of leaves, man. All right, let's see what's going on in the tunnel. Oh, we got some noises happening. Oh, here's Rosa. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? Oh, as well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Do you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah, on the nicely bar. Oh, I get you. <laughs> yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was, they didn't pay the people in real money, paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Oh, so Possum Springs is a company town. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town. Oh, mine boss. Oh, so there was a mine. Oh, a possum this morning, huh, Sonny? I wondered if you got a, uh, if you got the armadillo yet. Man, you're just getting like the whole animal kingdom in there, except the one that you want. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Man, that's a bummer. Hope you catch him before Wednesday. Night. I met your grand. Night. I met your grandfather. A real bastard. That boss. God forgave him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses! He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere and he slashes the boss's tires. Oh my goodness. Ha ha, wow! Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop! He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing! Did they catch him? Nah. Just me and a few other folks saw it. 
I trot over to him and we run off down the alley, past the AOK drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... So, what happened with the car? <laughs> Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So, like I said, you got troublemaker blood. Hee hee hee. Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. <laughs> I bet not. You gonna tell him? Yeah, sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with this is part of your... Oh, what you want to do with that is part of your story now. Well, that was interesting. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Broski. All right. Let's see if the kids are down here. Yep. Hey, uh, kind of weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. Thought I saw something. Okay, uh, you should tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out and let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Okay. I mean, I guess I should go to the end, J-I-C. That's what I thought. So things are getting a little interesting in our story now. I wonder if we're going to talk to Pastor Kate about it. <clears throat> or the goth kids. Or Bruce. Oh, here's Pastor Kate. I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Hmm. That's because you're a good person. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So, I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Jeez. Yep. This just makes me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore. Gotta order it from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. Well, that's sad. Torrent a good dream. Why are y'all? What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About? About Bruce here. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. I hope so. Me too. All right, let's go see if the goth kids are out here. Being, you know, goth. Nope. Not here. I did say we'd see him one more time. <clears throat> All right, so we've talked to Pastor Kate. We haven't talked to our mom at church, so we'll still go in.
obviously we would have still gone in anyway because clearly I am incapable of passing up any space <clears throat> hey mom hey hey church mom hey heathen daughter oh I'll make it here someday but come on seriously no one likes getting up on Sunday I find it very enriching your father does too mostly but he attends and that's important and he knows it means a lot to me all right well guilt thoroughly tripped you do work for the church that's not what faith is like hon there's more grace than condemnation kinda whatever all right I'm out see you later sweetie <laughs> what <laughs> sunny i don't know what you're trying to say <laughs> let me just be frank <laughs> oh let's go across the top man across the wires baby what if we can get up there i guess we can't oh yeah we can look at that I think this is how I fell off before because I couldn't make that jump and I wanted to be on the wire. Okay, let's cruise on. Oh, this game, I get you. <laughs> I was like, I still don't know what you're talking about. So I had to read the comment again. Yeah, lady, whatever. We are just... Flying free here. Oh, look, they need to patch their roof. I know, I'm going to have to go all the way back. This statue? Or did we pass a statue that was missing a head? Look, that says goat lung up there. <laughs> Hey, Pizza Ang. Thanks for the follow and thanks for dropping in, man. I appreciate it. Have you played this game before? All right. I guess that's as far as we can go up here. So we're going to go back because I don't want to miss anything on the street down below. We don't want to miss any action. Nuke Possum Springs 87. Goat Lung. <clears throat> it's it's very interesting i have to say oh look a new thing we can do <laughs> oh can we open the window oh look at that booyah we did a thing Hey, we haven't tried this before. Nifty. Yeah, that's awesome. Who doesn't want to do that, right? <laughs> wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Until the year that Mallard P. Blooming Rose snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church and ate special, special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those profane pretzels. Okay, that's pretty funny. Oh my God, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Plastic flowers are like super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Oh, this is cool. I love that we found a new place. It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously. <laughs> this thing is clearly marked as something it is not. Y'all, I'm coming back for you, exit door, and we're going to have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit, easily. 
Oh, now what? Oh, look at this! Oh my god! Mallard! What have they done to you? Thought, Nuke Possum Springs. Oh, see, I guess I should have found this out a long time ago. Because it's on a page so far back in my book. Mallard P. Blooming Grow! One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear, dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big, beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you, and I know you're here, and still a springtime terror. Have you noticed how all the, uh, like the floats and the statues and everything in this town where this cat lives are birds? I'll keep you a secret, Mallard, but I'll visit. Ooh. We can do a thing. Oh! Mallard, you're pregnant! <laughs> it's one of those God things, like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Man, there's all this stuff we could have been doing. Seeing miracle rats. Miracle rats. I knew I wanted to climb across the top. Okay, so the exit doesn't work. I'll have to. Whoa, hey, stairs going down. Something. No, I guess not. We'll have to go back out the window. Well, that was very cool. I'm so glad we did that. Bah! Wonder what else we missed in our town, huh? Okay. Oh, look, they haven't taken the corn husks down. Oh, she got the job. So today's my last day. Oh, dear, we're going to miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will. Come, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh, dear, what are we going to do without you? You all want to go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in, and we'll go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. Well, that's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Oh, good. She got the job at the Ham Panther. Oh, the pickaxe. Okay, I'll be here. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? I'll tell you later, I guess. Still like putting it together. I want her to talk about it. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice today. Yeah, I'm going to go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. All righty. War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. 
They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. She has quite the imagination, doesn't she? Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be that awesome. The party barn. All right, go see Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. How so? I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Maybe she's going to talk about it at band practice when they're all together. That would be all right. We wouldn't have to hear the same story so many times. Oh, is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. I wonder if we can get up there somehow. No, I don't think so. Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh oh, we'll go down. Oh, I didn't go down the hole. See what the bar flies are doing. It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone has to. <laughs> All right, before we go in the snack falcon, let's go in the tunnel. Oh, I guess we already had our talk with these guys for today. Did we? Go down here and see if Miss Rosa is sitting here and or the tunnel fishing guy. I can't keep my day straight anymore. Nope, just the kids. They don't want to talk to us. All right, you kids, stay safe. There's a murderer out there. I wonder if we're supposed to think that was the ghost. I don't know, considering the arm and Casey, whatever his name was, uh, I'm feeling a little bit like it was real. Sup, dude? Ugh. Ugh. Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you at band practice. Cool. What you up to? We're gonna head out to... Oh wait, no, let's not do it. Oh, I wanted to go all the way to the other side of town. All right, here we go, baby. Another song we don't know and that we're gonna mess up. <laughs> Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Well, you're kind of like that too, May. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs that goes out onto the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby. Up to the roof. Oh, I can run from that door down in the lobby up to the roof and pee off the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just tired. Fair. Ready to go? All right, you guys. Whew. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apologize now for what's about to happen. Yeah, let's do this Pumpkinhead guy song. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can see I haven't gotten any better at this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, it's creepy. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> This part I can do. 
Uh, I'm down with this part. Oh, good heavens. Really? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, that, that was not good. So fast. You just pushed a button. I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. All right, she's going to tell the story. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also, I think, was in my head after while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, um, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go figure this out myself. Oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, oh, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghostly stuff happening around here, like from a source we can trust, such as, does the newspaper have a ghost section? Wait, why is that a dumb question? <laughs> you know, we could go check the library for books about it. No, they have the local paper on file. Going back a century. If there's some secret history of kidnapper ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh, wow. I didn't even know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When is the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind. Let's go. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. Whoa, whoo, ghosties. That's the spirit. Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forgot that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Pumpkin head guy. Oh, a new place we've never been. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? <laughs> microfish. Microfish. Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night. Yep. Spooky here all. Oh, spooky here all alone? I'd be spooked. Uh, Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Okay. Do a little ghost research, man. Wow, their library even has an elevator and three floors. That's pretty good for a small town. We have a really nice library in my small town, but it's definitely not this big. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. 
Bob Targ, born 1967, 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. Thank you, B. I mean, you should have money then, right? Ideally, it should be like guaranteed. Should be guaranteed in general. You're going to join my young socialist chatterbox group? Yeah. Holy crap. What? It's Charity Barity. That makes a lot of sense, Sonny. So they probably moved into an... Either they built their own or they moved into an existent, taller, skinnier building. That's good thinking. What's Charity Barity? Oh. <laughs> I thought maybe you were just up on New Hampshire, you know? <laughs> Uh, how do you not know Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school. The school of being five freaking years old. All right. <laughs> so this was a thing you liked as a kid. No, I hated Charity Barity. It does look really hateable. It was like... You were under some curse where a cute thing followed you around 24-7 yelling about like sharing and not littering and paying taxes well that's an important uh skill i was five i'm 20 now and i still haven't paid taxes man b is i mean may is living in some other reality charity barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting ugh i forgot the worst part it always rhymed charity barity oh no austerity <laughs> what's that Reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh, wow, you still can't, like, go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. Geez, they sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity, Danger Everywhere-ity. <laughs> That's vague and disconcerting. Could have just update. Should Could have just kept updating that one book. All right. Wait, I thought we were up here to read the... Look at the microfiche. Maybe we went by too fast. Wait, what are we supposed to do? Charity parody. That's funny. We can't jump, so we're not supposed to be jumping on those things. All right, I guess we're going back down in the elevator. Bee's chomping on her cigarette. You know what I'm just thinking? Is that in each of our nightmares, you know how there was an animal at the end? It's the animals of all our friends. So we had an alligator and we had a bear... We had that squirrel, but I don't know who is, who's a squirrel. I don't think Greg is a squirrel. I think he's like a fox. That would be a little bit profound, wouldn't it? Oh, going up. Oh, we're only on the second floor, maybe. Oh, this is a really creepy dark place. Sniff, sniff. Oh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here. Sure is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost, or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain link fence, or flew over it, or something. While carrying something. Oh right, well that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy, because he took someone, and he's like somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. All right, here's our microfiche reader, perhaps. All right, there she is. Cool. So, I have no idea how to use it. Really? 
I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? The whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Oh, my goodness. Aw, ugh. Are we friends, be twists? Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. All right, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? Um, step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. All right, explosion at the mine. We got some events. I'm not reading all this stuff, you guys. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Possum Jump. According to the lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the cliff, from the edge of the cliff, out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up into the state forest hills. Possum Jump is famous for its beautiful views of the Echo Reservoir. It also holds historical importance as it holds hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Hey, look at this! Him, yeah, looks like Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump! Okay, yeah, that's back up in the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope. Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. That's actually probably only a mile or so from Mrs. Miranda's house. Back up in the hills. All kinds of stuff up there. Well, I'll try to avoid any basements or corpse husbands. Co-signed. All right, well, that might be what we're looking for. Oh, ghostly rumors. Hey, hey, hey. Ghost spotted. Historical society? Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this was when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah, I mostly just watched TV and did therapy. Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. It used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad mine? Steel mine? Something like that? An actual haunted house. Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh, well, still worth checking out. All right, what else we got? We're gonna run till this part is over and then we'll uh, then we'll stop and see who we can raid over to. I wonder if we can talk about all these things or if we're supposed to talk about all these things. I'm just sort of scanning. Okay, here's little Joe, another ghost story. Oh look, scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw him in the old section. Oh, cool. That's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? That's like an actual dangerous ghost stuff. So little Joe is purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances. Okay. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. Ha ha. That's actually pretty good. Okay, well, that's like three leads. Let's boogie. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. May Borowski, a detective of ghosts. I guess I should have looked at the rest. All right, all right, let's go. All right, you guys. I think we're going to stop right here. Uh, let me see what else. Who is playing? Who we can raid over to on this fine Saturday morning? story's getting a little bit interesting isn't it we got ghost things happening 
I can hardly actually wait. Uh, tomorrow morning, I am off on Sunday, and I don't play my indie game on Monday morning. So it'll be Tuesday before we get to play again. So a little suspense for us. We may be getting near the end, so I'll try to have a next game poll up on Tuesday. So if you come in and watch, you can vote on what I'm gonna, what indie game I'm going to play next. I will be back this afternoon at 4 p.m. Central with some No Man's Sky. Lots of stuff happened last night. Not Still kind of processing it. Uh, we'll see where we go forward there, but it'll be fun no matter what we do. Let's see if anyone's on that we want to raid over to. Eh, I think maybe not this morning. So thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me. I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend if I don't see you. And again, I'll be on this afternoon at 4 with No Man's Sky. Then I take Sunday all day and Monday morning off. And I'll be back Monday afternoon with more No Man's Sky. Back with this game on Tuesday morning. I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit uh, excited to find out where we're going. Bye, you guys. Have a super weekend.